Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here back with another episode of the Road to Glory and today guys we have got quite a few big purchases going on. Um, sadly the auction house is still, still broken and it's been at least a week now. I think it's been over a week um, which is utterly incredible at this stage of the game. And also 2K have released these NBA awards packs which understandably have gotten them quite a lot of backlash. They've released an Amethyst Moments Rudy Gobert, which was released on the 16th of January as part of contact uh, contact content for him winning Defensive Player of the Year. We've got a Lou Will as well, only 96. Giannis, the anniversary one, which came out so long ago. Um, Siakam and Doncic, fair enough. Um, but even still, as re-releases, it's a bit lazy. But these three, there is no excuse, and there's definitely no excuse for releasing an Amethyst for a Defensive Player of the Year. Why on earth they didn't just add him as a Pink Diamond or a Galaxy Opal, I do not know. Realistically, all of these guys should have been Galaxy Opals because they all won their awards in their respective fields. Um, and pretty much no one is going to be pulling these packs. I haven't seen a single YouTuber do a pack opening on them and I'd hope that no one would actually do a pack opening on them. No one should be giving 2k money for this complete and utter lack of of effort that is really really poor and amethyst at this stage of the game and then they tweet out saying it was a top tier card like i don't know what planet they're on um and it's just incredible they have released new uh, galaxy opals into the throwback playoff moments we've got uh, the three spurs guys manu tim and tony parker both of them with pretty decent cards ish but manu we had the pink diamond his release was a bit of a problem tim duncan would be a good card and uh, Tony Park, a little bit undersized, and I think he's already like 40k or something, like, he is very, very cheap. But I do like the uh, logos that these Galaxy Opals have compared to uh, these Galaxy Opals somewhere else. Or maybe they just show it like that in here. They do actually, they show it differently to uh, on the auction house, that's weird. Never noticed that before. Um, anyway, going over to the auction house, let's just confirm that it is still fucked, and it is still fucked. Um, obviously, all of these uh, Galaxy Opals aren't up for five. I mean, Jesus, there have been a lot of snipes going on. Like, if you sit on this filter, look at that. Tony Parker for 500 MT and Moses Malone with a three-point shoot for 500 MT. Are you mad? That is crazy. Um, so, yeah, still completely broken, so you don't know the true price of players, which is super frustrating. We are down to the last set of uniforms. We've got through all of them now, and there's none left in my club, which is fantastic. Um, we've got about 30 left. Trying to sell them for as much as I can. Um, we've got some of the Thunder ones going, which I know are quite expensive. We've got some nice ones there. The Bulls one, the Magic and the Rockets are all very nice jerseys, um, which I did actually have in my squad. But I thought, you know what, I'll sell them. I've got enough jerseys to choose from anyway, so I might as well get some MT while I can. And then we've still got two Steph Currys back here, which I am going to keep for the time being. So I managed to sell one for 60k, another one for 60k, so, so one for 70, one for 60, and maybe another one for 60, I can't remember how many I had to begin with. Um, but we're going to keep hold of these two because I do believe, as I said in previous videos, that KG is coming out this Friday, and I do think it will bump up his price. I've sold a few just to be sure uh, that we have made some profit, because of course I picked these up for like 35k, so we made a lot of money on these steps anyway. Um, so even if his price doesn't go up and it stays at like 50k, I'm happy with that. Um, but where we were last video, I was talking about completing the uh, NBA draft set. We did a comparison between that and the anniversary set. Now, I haven't picked up anyone else from here. Obviously, I was thinking about getting this Derek Rose. His price has actually gone up a little bit. Maybe it's about the same because these ones have got diamond contracts on, which is why their prices might be a little bit more expensive. But he was going for about 100k. Um, we already had the Harden and those two guys. And then the Series 2 we had already. Um, and I'm just looking for their prices to go back up, really. I want to get as much as I can for them. And like I said, Friday is going to be a very telling day. If they release new Opals into that token market and uh, they drop KG, I think these guys' prices are going to go through the roof because everyone is going to want to try and get 3,000 tokens, which will give you four Galaxy Opals. So if they release some really nice ones in there, we could be making a lot of MT. And that is very good for us as well because obviously this set gets you 500 tokens as well. But it is a very good set and one that I do actually want to complete. So Hakeem the Dream, his price... A little bit all over the place, to be honest. He's going for anywhere between like 120 to 200k, depending on the time of day. Now, I don't want to overpay for him, but I do want to get one with a diamond contract, uh, just because I always think it's better value to buy one with a diamond contract than to buy one without and then have to add it on. Uh, same price with Lonzo. He's going from anywhere between like 120 to 200k. Uh, looks like he's really at the height of his price at the moment, so I definitely wouldn't suggest buying one. Uh, just right now, uh, we've got Oscar Robertson going for uh, somewhere around here. We'll have a price, maybe. 
uh, 74-ish K, I assume. Uh, and we've got AD going for still 240. But I have actually made some purchases. So we've got 90K still in the bank. And we picked up Jason Tatum and Oscar Robertson. So JT we picked up for 56,000 or 55,000 MT. So pretty good um, pretty good price on him. And we've got Galaxy Opal, Oscar Robertson for 70K. So 125K for both of these guys. That is not too bad. We get 5K back for JT. Very nice. And then we get to add Oscar Robertson to the club. Um, and we've still got 95,000 MT. We've got all these jerseys left to sell. We've got two Steph Currys, which we're not going to sell just yet, but we will sell. Um, and now we've got 9 out of the 12 done in this. So hopefully tomorrow, after all the jerseys sell, I'll have about 130k. And fingers crossed that'll be enough to pick up Hakeem. And then we will just be needing two more players to fill this out completely. And obviously that's AD and Lonzo. So the most expensive ones, definitely in AD, going for like 250 um, and then Zoe, like I said, going for 125. I'd hope to get him for around that same price with Hakeem, really. Uh, but we've got two very, very good players that we've added to the squad today. So Jason Tatum, uh, his diamond card at the start of the game was fantastic. And this one is just next level. Uh, obviously coming with uh, 12 Hall of Fame badges. Very nice ones indeed. Of course, the shooting ones, limitless and deep range. Uh, Stats-wise, incredible. 96 driving, 97 three ball, 98 mid, 98 driving and contact donkey. He can speed boost. Great defence and incredible speed as well. So that is a great card. And then we've got Galaxy Opal Oscar Robertson. Now I've heard good things about this card to be honest. 20 Hall of Fame badges. We've got um, Limitless, Deep Range. We've got Defensive Stopper. We've got Diamond. We've got Pick and Run Maestro. Posterizer. This card is pretty much an all-round beast. Incredible stats all round. Nothing under like 90 uh, apart from Block. That's like the only thing. Block and Strength might be the only two stats this guy has under 90 well standing dunks 80 that's fair enough uh, and post hook at 89 and that's it this guy has four stats under 90 that is ridiculous um, and let's go and put them into our squad so this is what we're rocking with at the moment uh, now i haven't played a game in a little while but i'll definitely get lebron out of here we'll get jason tatum in there and i think james harden can go maybe we'll put him in for kobe Hmm, not sure on that one. That's a tough choice, actually. 20 Hall of Fame badges for James Harden, but his release is a bit of a problem. Uh, defensively, Kobe's actually got the better of him. We'll stick with Kobe for now, um, and that is the current squad that we're going to have. And look at that, we've got four Galaxy Opals so that we're not even using. That is wild. Um, they've got so many uh, pink diamonds as well. So, fingers crossed, uh, in the next couple of days, like I said, we can pick up Hakeem. He'll come in for Shaq. Uh, we'll probably keep Cat off the bench, uh, just for the athleticism over Shaq, really, his speed, his shooting. Um, and then uh, Galaxy Opal AD coming in. He'll go into the starting lineup. Giannis will come off of the bench. And then Zoe coming in uh, will probably replace Hidu. And then we'll swap Hidu and KD. And I think that will be a really, really strong squad. And then we can move JT to the two off the bench and move KD to the three and replace Kobe. Because, of course, fingers crossed, we will be selling all of these anniversary sets. I mean, I'm going to sell them all anyway, but fingers crossed... On Friday, we actually managed to get a lot of MT for them because we've nearly completed this NBA draft set without selling a single player from those sets. And uh, we've got a lot of MT here. We've got about 100k in Harden, about another 100k in these two, so 200k. Uh, probably about 750k, I want to say, roughly around that. We've already got 100k in the bank. That leaves us with 850k um, to buy the 400k's worth of players in AD and Zoe. That is pretty good. The squad is in a really, really good position at the moment. Um, I'm very excited to see uh, when we get these guys. And if we do get these tokens, we will obviously have enough for a Galaxy Opal. And like I said, fingers crossed on Friday they do a madness. Fingers crossed they actually add stuff and don't just leave us dry again. Because if they do um, and the KG drops and the people are getting 3,000 tokens, there's not going to be much hype because there's going to be nobody here. There's not four players here that people are going to want to pick up. So they've really got to pull their fingers out. Uh, if this is anything to go by, though, it's going to be a massive disappointment and uh, we're not going to get anything good. If they just add, like, Amethyst to the token board, that'd be such a disappointment. Uh, so I'm not really holding my breath too much and that's why I'm kind of deciding on whether to sell some of these guys now, maybe sell two or three of them now just to get a guaranteed 100k. Um, but I don't think... I mean, see, if, if KG comes out and they don't drop new Galaxy Opals... I think these guys' price could come down. I mean, uh, AD and LeBron are already down at like 50k, so it shows their price can come down quite a lot. 
Um, and obviously, we've got this LeBron here, diamond contract, diamond three-point shoot. So he's yourself quite a lot. We've got the same situation with KD. Uh, Larry Bird's got a diamond contract, a uh, diamond shoe. Kobe with a diamond shoe and diamond contract. So these guys should fetch quite a lot of MT. It's just whether or not we do get that extra bonus amount, or if we're going to have to settle for the current price that we bought them for, which would be a little bit disappointing. But it was worth the investment. I don't think we're going to lose out too much. And uh, if we get this set done, we're going to have a very, very squad, strong squad by the end of the year. So two big improvements to the squad today: Oscar Robertson and Jason Tatum. Uh, we'll have to fully badge them out, of course. They don't come badged out. They still need quite a few of the gold ones. We've got 10. We've got 30 total badges for Oscar Robertson. Damn, maybe we don't need anything on him. But JT has only got 25, so we'll have to put a few more on him to get him up to that 30 mark that most of my players have. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.